Hi, friends and partners. Uh, Tom Graney coming to you from New Life Ranch, Frontier Cove. It's week five, and I'm excited to be with you to give this prayer update for this week. Uh, I've actually been on sabbatical the past couple of weeks, and so thankful to have Amelia doing these updates and keeping everybody aware of what's happening and, and seeking out prayers for camp. We've had a great summer so far, and we're excited about this last half of summer as we move into week five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, please be in prayer again for junior camp that's happening here at Frontier Cove. We have some sweet second through sixth graders that are hearing the gospel, are being equipped for ministry, and we're excited for them to grow in Christ this week. For some of them, for the first time ever hearing the gospel. And it's our prayer, and I would ask you to be in prayer about them understanding that message, repenting of sin and giving their life to Jesus. Um, also be in prayer for ministry that's happening at, at New Life Ranch Flint Valley. We actually have family camp happening. Uh, we started on Sunday through this morning. We had 30 families at Flint Valley. And then today we have another 45 families coming in. So please be in prayer for family camp that's happening at Flint Valley. Uh, one quick story from that uh, we had just two nights ago uh, at the end of our chapel session in the evening, which we're, we're going with the same theme of, of who am I? Uh, that's our theme this summer, who am I? And, and, and trying to find our identity in Christ. There was a seven-year-old boy who we finished singing the song about being a child of God. And he turned to his mom and said, mom, am I a child of God? And she said, I don't know, are you? Uh, his grandpa happened to be the speaker uh, for family camp. And so they went and talked uh, and he prayed and repented of sin and received the free gift of salvation. What an awesome story. Thank you for, for, for being a part of that as you have been praying for ministry at New Life Ranch this summer. Uh, please continue to pray. Specifically here with, with Junior Camp, we've got some cabins that, uh, cabin of boys that are really interested in the gospel. Uh, they have some great questions already. So please pray for, 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 pray for clarity, for understanding. Uh, pray for unity in cabins. Um, as, as kids get to know each other, and, and sometimes it takes a couple days to, to gel together and become a, a community, uh, pray for that. Also, ask you to pray for our staff. Uh, we've got 200 incredible godly young women and godly young men that are serving the Lord this summer. Pray for them, pray for their health, pray for their, uh, their spiritual uh, fervor and, and their relationship with Jesus. Um, also pray for, we have some that were here for just half the summer and they've, they've gone back home. Uh, have entered the real world, if you will. Uh, pray for them as they transition. Uh, pray for some new ones that have just joined their staff as well um, as they transition into camp life and what all of that is. And so, again, thank you for being a part of the ministry of New Life Ranch each and every week as you pray for us. But one of the things I want to encourage you with is, again, our theme is, is who am I? Well, we're talking about identity. And, and I love Paul's words uh, in Philippians chapter 3 where uh, he starts out the chapter with um, kind of a resume, if you will, of, of his achievements, his accomplishments in life. And then in verse seven, he says this, but whatever was to my profit, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I've lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in Please pray that for our campers, that they would find their identity in Christ, be found in Him. That's really my prayer for, for you as well, that you would know Christ and find your identity in Him as well. Go to His Word, seek Him out, questions you might have, allow Him to answer those through His Word as you seek Him. Again, thank you for partnering with us. Uh, we, we appreciate it, we need your prayers. And we anticipate God continue to do great things this week and for the rest of the summer as we reach out and serve Him. So thank you so much. Hey, I was told to ring that bell and, and like us. Uh, I don't really know what that means, honestly. Um, follow us, all this sort of stuff, but I'm sure that's a great thing to do, so please do that. One last thing, I have a request. M make a comment. I got this new stash. My wife doesn't like it. What do you think? Keep it or get rid of it? Let me know what you think in those comments. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.